If you're any bit familiar with Volition's catalog of games, then you're likely well aware that the studio enjoys their references. Whether it's subtle nods to pop culture, jabs at other games, or even references to their older work. There's always something for everyone to find, but today I want to focus on their references to one of my all-time favorite television series, Seinfeld. In case you aren't an aging dinosaur like myself, Seinfeld was one of the most successful sitcoms of the early 90s. Spanning a total of 180 episodes, the show about nothing drew in millions of viewers a week to see the latest escapades of Jerry, George, Elaine, and Kramer. I honestly can never get enough of watching Seinfeld, and it seems from certain references in the Saintro games, Volition feels the same way. So, as a bit of a passion project, why don't we take a look at all the Seinfeld references in the Saintro series? And to help me with the video, fellow Seinfeld fan Badger Goodger has agreed to explore the references as well. Thank you for having me here, Saints Godzilla. Seinfeld is one of those shows that will just never get old to me. Thanks to the reruns being on TV every day in the 2000s, I basically grew up watching it. Then I got to collecting the DVDs, and now the show is on Netflix. I often find myself going back and watching the show again. To make a long story short, it's one of my favorite TV shows. It's also become one of those things where I tend to notice references to it in other works a little bit more. I get the impression that the people at Volition really enjoyed the show too. With all that, let's yada 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 and dive right in. You may know Legal Lee as the attorney for the Third Street Saints. He helps us commit insurance fraud in the first game, and in the second game he's representing Johnny Gat during the trial where the boss determined that there was a mistrial and had the court adjourned indefinitely. Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? He also appears in numerous activities and can even be unlocked as a homie. One thing that I love about Legal Lee is the fact that he's voiced by Phil Morris, the actor who also played Jackie Childs, who's Kramer's lawyer on Seinfeld. And Morris sounds like he was asked to basically just do the same voice and mannerisms as Jackie for Legal Lee. Well, I figure if you got yourself on that cop show fuzz, we could show the world a side of our police force that isn't exactly primetime friendly. Your tobacco company has turned this beautiful specimen into a horrible, twisted freak. <laughs> If only more Seinfeld characters could have been NPCs. In Sintra 1 and 2, there's a postal vehicle which happens to be a reference to one of Seinfeld's reoccurring characters. If you hop inside, you'll see the truck is named the Newman. This is clearly a reference to the character of the same name, who happens to be a postal carrier in the show. Hello, Newman. It makes for a nice little tribute to Wayne Knight's character and is sure to make some Seinfeld fans smirk. And as a bonus fact, the logo on the Newman has still water spelt with two L's. This likely means the postal truck was one of the earlier vehicles to be finished, and the same texture was reused in Saints Row 2. Hey, you know what? I think there is another Seinfeld-inspired NPC. Not the same actor this time, but the same look. Seen in various parts of Stillwater, you might run past or carjack a guy who looks very similar to Jason Alexander, who played George Costanza. It wouldn't surprise me if this guy was designed to look like George, since he's not the only sitcom character present as an NPC. Saints Godzilla reminded me that one of the hitman targets in the game is based on Martin Crane from Frasier. Even the target's name is Marty. Unfortunately, unlike Phil Morris with Legal Lee, Jason Alexander did not do any voiceover work for this guy, but he's definitely got the look of a guy who would be cheap enough to buy toxic envelopes or eat thrown away food out of a kitchen garbage can. If you've ever played the hoeing diversion in Saints Row 2, then I'm sure you're familiar with the numerous sex positions that are displayed between QTEs. However, you may not have known that one of the rare positions comes from the 107th episode of Seinfeld, The Fusilli Jerry. In the episode, Jerry teaches George how to better please his girlfriend, mentioning a unique final move. Now the end is kind of an option. I use the swirl. I like the swirl, I'm comfortable with the swirl. I feel the swirl is a great camper. Is it a clockwise swirl? I prefer clockwise, but it's not written in stone. In the diversion, there's a chance you'll see a sexual position that either starts with clockwise or ends with swirl. Sadly, the illustrious clockwise swirl combo is one of the rarest possible combinations to see. But hey, at least it wasn't a pinch. The pinch. I've done the pinch. That's not new. <laughs> The ending of Saints Row 4 contained a very fun little scene that, if you described it to someone who only ever played one or two, would sound like a fever dream or a bad trip. Every character is dancing along to This Is How We Do It by Montel Jordan, and everybody seems to be having a good time. Shondi, Pierce, Ben King, but even Sid's got some moves. Then it's Gat's turn. Yikes. Looks like he took lessons on how to dance from Elaine. He's definitely got the little kicks down with the thumbs out. 
It's almost like a full body dry heave. Though it seems like he's a little more aware of this being bad dancing than Elaine was. She doesn't punch Jerry, even though he seemed to be afraid that she would. Uh, uh, please, please, not in my home. By the way, Johnny Gatt's voice actor, Daniel Day Kim, made an appearance on Seinfeld. He was on an episode called The Burning, where he played a medical student responsible for identifying Kramer's verbose description of gonorrhea. Gonorrhea! Gonorrhea! <laughs> I wonder if having Gat do the Elaine dance was their little way of paying tribute to Daniel Day Kim's appearance on the show. In the Saints Row 4 expansion, How the Saints Save Christmas, there's a quite notable Seinfeld nod in the final mission. After delivering presents and coal across the city and crashing Santa's sleigh, your objective becomes to light various holiday-related symbols and or the weakened claw shield. Happy Hanukkah! The last holiday icon just so happens to be the notorious Festivus pole from Seinfeld. The poll comes from the ninth season of the show when it's revealed George Costanza's father created his own holiday, Festivus. George, Festivus is your heritage. It's part of who you are. That's why I hate it. The following tasks of the mission fall in line with the holiday's traditions. First, you need to perform a feat of strength. And now as Festivus rolls on, we come to the feats of strength. Not the feats of strength. <laughs> Take that, uh, poll. Once that's complete, the Saints begin the airing of grievances. The tradition of Festivus begins with the airing of grievances. I got a lot of problems with you people. Now, you're gonna hear about it. Overall, this is easily the most complex reference to the sitcom and shows that even after 15 years, Volition was still captivated by the series. The Saints Row reboot is certain to contain pop culture references. We've already seen something resembling Los Pollos Hermanos as a potential business for us in the game, and somebody on Reddit pointed out that there's a neighborhood in Santo Eleso called Cranston. Given the Southwest setting, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul are bound to be referenced. But what about Seinfeld? Well, it was pointed out to me that the chicken on the side of the Chicken a la King food truck is kind of reminiscent of George. Specifically, the poses that they both do, it's certainly what Kramer would call the timeless art of seduction. He would also say they're both stout. Oh my god. Now, I don't know if there's going to be any other references to Seinfeld or not, but even if there isn't, thanks to Boss Factory, I can make damn sure that there is. And there you have every Seinfeld reference throughout the Saint Tro series. It's clear the TV show has held a special place in the heart of Volition, and they enjoy showing that love through subtle winks, tributes, even making some references an integral part of the game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to give a special thanks to Badger for joining me on this small journey and helping with research. If you'd like to see quality videos revolving around Grand Theft Auto and other Rockstar titles, please consider checking out his channel. I would also like to give a huge thanks to my Patreon sponsors. John, Sam Just, Delta, Big G, Dr. Purple Bunny 78, Gabriel Snyder, Fluffy Tail, Pokedex, Specialist Angel Figueroa, and David Snoopy. Like always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.